Anyalo manabedo mamor juwete na tukangato mor kudu kumbe umie. I have seen you people hold up your Bibles and that makes my heart very happy. Wacha kwacha kwa mie moronya bichilkum tingo mumbe wa malu kama. Ah, tinga ne mu mala loya. Bibles are everywhere. Amen. Now, I want you to use them. Koro agombo, kiko bedu menagi mikano, to bed gima, yipiyo. If you leave those Bibles on the shelf to collect dust, I will come from America again and write condemnation on the cover. Kopo, nemo mamo miyino, ikawe tithikete kama uye yogeni ya mayueye. Kaye toge kokroche sema biro budo, toko luenda gigik manade ngiyo iye. To jamuani biro aturgi, to buru mewiyeno, mama kubiyeno, biwinja. Obrondiko kuome, kuom madongo. Nini ngat mo kuom, kod, kuom, nuwana mano. Ingat mo kuom, kod, kuom. Amen? Christ with a curse. We must read those Bibles. Jowete wa okni unego, lakini nyaka wa som mumbe watu. Kama na diela, tutimbali wa wachi ni amen. Amen. Polu ere ni ayot. So, yesterday we learned something about what happens when you die, and it was very surprising, even to our translator. We could teach a lot of things today that you've never heard before from the Bible. Amen. But the Lord has put on my heart to share this message that I believe will be an inspiration to us, all of us. The Apocalypse. What that is? Yes. 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 Okay, you yes. Okay. This word describes the end of this age. Will this world be destroyed because of the environment? Is that the reason? Well, there was an environmental crisis during the time of the flood. And after the flood, they built up a tower called Babel. They built up that tower because they were trying to protect themselves from another environmental crisis. At the end of time, the book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 says, Come out of Babylon, my people. Now, the reason why it says that is because Babel or Babylon is very alive and well today. And what are they doing in Babylon today? They are preparing for another environmental crisis. In the Old Testament, right after the flood, there was Babylon preparing for, sorry, Babel preparing for an environmental crisis. Marabura. 
And in the New Testament, Babylon is preparing for an environmental crisis. Kendo kiduoge muma manyien bende nitiere ikruok ne kwenya mar kudo mar kor yamo. Can you see the comparison between the Old and the New Testament? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. First Corinthians chapter 10 makes it very clear that every story of the Bible is written for us upon whom the ends of the world have come. Muma Mario Corinto mokonga par wacho maler ni gik moko duto ondik ni wamundo kel fwenye ruok ne kaka gik moko no chale ndalo mwadhiye kamano kare fwabadi wabanchi na meni and we want to understand those stories so that we can understand how they apply to us today right before Christ comes kwa mwondo me wawinch kawuno maber kwa mwondo wago picha chie mwondo waneka kasi gendi ni kane chalo eko bro meo gino donye nyanduru wa iyo mwi chore and before I forget, I want to thank you for the African attire. I really appreciate it. Amen. Oh, I feel I feel at home now. Thank you. Yes. You're now part of us. It looks good. Yeah, okay. this is pretty good. I wonder why they can't pick a picture of me and you wearing this attire. Yes. Yeah. When I do picture, me you will do my big charmo. Remember, we're on the video. Okay. Right here. Look at it already. Ah. <laughs> Amen. Good. Amen. <laughs> yes, taken. Thank you. Yeah, that attire was made by our children's department to you. We appreciate the children. Thank you. Oh, the children ministry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so today we're dealing with an environmental we're dealing with an environmental crisis just like they did in the Old Testament in Babylon. But how is the world going to be destroyed? Is it going to be another flood? The Bible says no, it's not going to be another flood. God says he has reserved judgment and fire that will come down from heaven. But before that happens, what should we be looking for? Talking about Jesus Christ coming in the clouds of heaven, it says in the Bible, every eye shall see him. Now there are some people that say, no, that's not possible. How could every eye at the same time see Jesus Christ? No, 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 no. It doesn't say every eye at the same time. It simply says every eye will see him. Now, you know, when I was in Australia, Australia. I was looking at the sky. And my friend, he said, hey, there's Orion. You know the constellation Orion? Yes. Okay. And I said, I don't see Orion. Oh, Orion. Oh, <coughs> Is that a, what is Orion? A constellation. I saw a constellation. Uh -huh. The stars. The stars. Okay. So now I couldn't recognize the constellation in the sky. 
mundo não foi ni tone en mane e yekanyo normally we can see a pattern ni kech kenye yo um kaka sulu bedoga mag yogni ge kaoga mundo moro ino ke dangi yo mna polo ini ngi yo mna kuon memesa to kenye yo ga polo gotieno to wan gi sulu e che mo pogore o pogore o pogore wa wi jore to moro ka moro ge kao pattern moro kara kenye yo moko mag the milky way ka ke mag yogni angongo koro ka no ngiyo embe korango ge wange mar dano to gima jago ne wacho ok timre nade ok nene ne eh So now we understand, right? Okay. Omena nobody watching your name. So I was looking at a constellation but I couldn't recognize it. Koro no ngiyo chokro kumaga sulwe gito no konyal neno Orion. And he says the reason why is because we're on the other side of the world. To no wacho ni gimo miyo nikech wani tok pig ge koma chielo. Turn your head upside down. To no wacho ni loka ni wi ataro. So I looked at it like this. And when my head was turned, I could see it. So, how could you see every eye at the same time if Christ comes if you're on the other side of the world? Because Christ is coming with the clouds of heaven. And do you know the Bible teaches that the clouds are the angels? Now the other day we talked about angels and I asked if Satan was a real being and you said no. I'm telling you there's a lot to learn in the Bible. Amen. I have a whole series online about the angels if you're interested. Yes, without Amen. The, without the S. Yeah. S Melano with Daniel dot com. Without what? S Make ibro de ngeyo ke simbe gi moko me yao ke ti proneno gi no which my major ni are teaching right there and some of these things are uploaded there plus this one also is going there okay but why is ibro de no here can you be near the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together to niko wacho ni kanu rango to no neno polo ko ban Now if I look up, st- up to the sky outside of this building I can still see heaven the sky So Christ hasn't come yet It says every island and mountain were moved out of their places Now I was on an island in South America. And I focused on the point that the islands were moved out of their places. And so after the message the people came up to me and said Should we move off of the islands because when Jesus comes they'll be destroyed?
And I said, well, you can't go to the mountains because they're going to be destroyed too. The Bible says the kings of the earth and the great men, the rich men, the captains, the mighty men, the bondmen, the free men, they hid themselves because that Christ was coming in the clouds. Everywhere, everybody, they will be hiding themselves because Christ is coming in the clouds of heaven. No matter where you are on the face of this earth, Christ will come and you will see him coming. Those that were hiding in the rocks, they cried out with a loud voice. They said, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne, which is the Father, and the throne is in heaven, and from the wrath of the Lamb, which is the one coming. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? The answer to that question, who shall be able to stand, is found in chapter 7, dealing with the 144,000. So the message of the 144,000 in the book of Revelation is very important to understand because those are the ones that will stand. Now listen, I have gone through in video at the Revelation with Daniel YouTube page, I've gone through the Revelation three different times, verse by verse. If you want to learn with me about the book of Revelation, you can go there and you can find it in video, in audio, and also written notes. I'll give it to any one of you. My revelation. Okay, take on you. It is there. Also in PDF notes. Kendo any nyaka e which mogo chapa mag PDF notes. Mago notes, Julius Miyaka Kamoda Lungi. Uh soft copy kaudungo namo. To notes mag PDF. O mana bena rao kachana ki bedu pe diseti mara cha. PDF notes miyaka kawa keti. They'll be able to read it on the mane. <laughs> We can send it through WhatsApp and everybody can get it through WhatsApp. It says, I looked and I saw a white cloud. Upon that cloud sat one like the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ. Now, 
Yesu Christo. Now have you ever sat on a cloud? Ondie. Kombe to go melando kitu kamoro muate to be sebe de bor polo yi. How many have sat on a cloud? Jadi mose be de bor polo tina pinga ba ni Why not? Namo. Huh? Because clouds don't hold people. Niketch bot your polo go. Okagenu kom mangato nyalubeti. Moti nye apana. But if clouds are a symbol of the angels, then what we see is a celebration with the angels taking Christ up and bringing him to his people. Kare kapolo bote polo. Ipimugi kodo malaike. Kara di mandiko ni woe kangi ye anu makanguanga. Kocha lo more my to wong judge would have no. Kamalaika kawja wa polo kode kaji di tibadi wa wachini. It's like when you honor a king, you lift him up and you take him. You don't let him walk himself. This is King Jesus, and on his head is a golden crown. No, I remember when the angels came before and they were going to declare that Christ was coming to the earth. What they did is they gathered around and they sang, Glory to the God in the highest. Now this time, do you think the angels are going to come with this king on their in their hands, they're carrying this king, and they're going to say, "Kuro i paroni sani, eh? Sani, kama acha kanu biro, kachpusi bla. Emane nich kenu ne du miro kama acha. To kuro sani mo seloyo. Malaike bro tige kai chaja kwa di. Bwana ne, eh? Let's make it quiet. What one or two more moves? No, 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 no. You see, because Jesus has in his hand a sharp sickle, and another angel comes out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sits upon the cloud. With a loud voice, thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time for thee to reap is come. The harvest of the earth is ripe. He that sat upon the th cloud, or he that was carried by the angels, thrust in his sickle to reap the harvest of the earth. Jal. Now, who is it that's the harvest of the earth? Is it he's coming for, for soy or wheat? The people that represent Christ in character, those are the ones that are ready to be harvested. In Revelation 19 it says, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, because the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. Now, 
kendo wamor mwa hil nikech kei uh, uh, marriage nikech kei mar nyarombo osechopo kendo mia mare otima ngo oikore now who is the wife of the land tukuru pejo pejo ni ya mia mwa uyu kume ni tohen nga wati do you ni timadi wa wati ni amen who is it tohen nga The church. Pastor Ben has said in the church. Thank you, Pastor. Ya kwat Ben, Ben ado se wacho ni mano kanisa. The church must be ready before she is harvested or she will be harvested green and be worth nothing. Kanisa. Omena kain ka kwa wach apostolic kwa wach kanisa mare kwa wach pende yombra kwa wach kiamo. Kanisa en na jomu yi kanya klamari jomu yi dongi. Mani mwa ndugu ni kanisa kawulo. Bena ni mani mikono wali ya kanisa. Bena moa cho ni kanisa, wacho ni kanya kala mari jo muye. Nyaka ben moi koreka cham, mose chiek. Mondo ke kae tok kae kolumu. Timbali wa wacho ni amen. So in heaven if the wife is ready, she's made herself uh, ready and now it's time for the harvest. Do you think all the angels that are glad and rejoicing are going to say Kuru ni kakore pulu omera mi hai mo sei kore ki du ni tire tum kodbu mi al mo kundo ka di ti du ari pu di ti di ket mi al ni ka ni mo kwa du ti de ni ma ma go yo chaji go e par ni ja malaika ni koro sama bru biro eh aura ni koro gi bru kero ti 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 ni ni wa ka wa ka mi a kuru ji shh oh no no ma no kbi ti mo no 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 If you think it's going to be quiet when Jesus Christ comes, you have not read your Bible. Toko poni paro ni chien ma Yesu biro. Ni gik moko no beda beda chak gira bono mera gino di mos. Iti meti ma ngino kwa dwar koko kama Yesu kawe kana ni ti meti ma mos. Mos. Ka uber ni ngi paro ma ne mumi wa pogi mo ma ka wono. Ni ke paro ma yin go no en paro ma nga ma nyocha poko somo mo ma. When heaven is open there will be a white horse. This white horse is a stallion that carries a king. Eka kapolo ya ore tundiko wacho ni no pinyere ango ambur bona wa faras. Kiswahili bene wa wacho ka. Ayo yo. No no pinyere ambur machalane. Maracha Now horses in the Bible are designed for war. To ingeyo ni muma pile ka pile ambuor gin le magango. That's why it says. That's why it says in righteousness he does judge and make war. Mane mumi wacho ni kum timakare unga dugura kedo kelo loi. His eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head are many crowns. Wenge ne liel kakama ju sip na muru no wiri. One of pink or Changi, and he has a secret name. Kai Tengi Ying Mopane, a name that nobody knows but he himself. Ying Maonge na Munge Makmana, ya eka ne sa makau no ni dogo na duru ne. Amen. No no, we will do a kago chak sani. Mundo yubed muye. Hallelujah. Think bad go watch ni amen. Tie fonde mo koma ka ingero maleto iwinjo ka gigo. O donje fonde tu fonde o kenyala le ngicha ko timango. Amen. See when Jesus comes he will be clothed in a special garment kind of like what I'm dressed in right now. Kaye subiru. Tubro ruake ginanga. Makende. Kaka meja ni be kawuno war keto. Ela umungif mayo maber mami uwinjo kachunye yue yo muya mamalo kumwe manyo yue ukile koti mini maber ka mordo kata ini winjo ka yue yo muya Zerok when he comes his name will be called that which What? comes from hey. God ni kachimuru biro sado ponde busi epna nyinge ibro luonge ne ya What? Even when he comes he will be that which is brought forth from the father the word of god tendo kupiro 
Kubro bedo moya maro watch mowo kunya sai miluongo ni watch nyasai Now John Wayne be near order ni kadi Okay kadi John Wayne ti kubro be Now will Jesus Christ come on a on a horse that doesn't make any noise Top yes wale ipano bro biro ge fast more gambuor moro ma doge otue ke jo nyalo chamo chamo ngato Or will he be with angels that are rejoicing? Kusubro Pedro ke malaike magotrofuam. Ai. It says he comes with armies which were in heaven followed upon uh followed sorry. It says he comes with armies which are in heaven following him on white horses. Nindi ko wacho no probio go god down the way. Eh? O god down the way your tail. And have you ever seen an army on horses that tiptoe so they're quiet? Koso ibe wangi oseneno eh John Wayne manu yambur farese maringo matek malito ne milade manu niro mungo kanya no he. We hear trumpets. Uh, we hear praise. Uh, yeah. We hear glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Does the Bible say out of his mouth goes nothing because he's silent? The Bible says he comes and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword. The Bible, according to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, is the word of God which is a sharp two-edged sword. When he comes he will tread the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of almighty God but do you do that quietly Niko biro to bro nyono ko biyo msapi Mano iti mo kaji ni korne do jili mu so ke do winjo white more Aha He had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written which brings the angels to praise King of Kings and Lord of Lords Kendo ma e watch ma kilu kilu dinga no lik bang ne ningo ma watch ni Ruth ma Ruthi Lord of Lords Now in Acts chapter 1 verse Kendo ni tipo ne bugala ki winjo ka wuka wuka to duiti e me ba e koriamo to romo ki match Amen. Now leaving the book of Revelation we go to Acts chapter 1. When he Jesus had spoken some things to the apostles he was taken up and the cloud received him out of their sight. Niko majoni ka Yesu no sibuyo to no kawe malo ke do no ai wa Just like Elijah he was taken up with clouds or in Elijah's case a fiery chariot. Manakaka wa parokar Elijah no kawe gikari mara mocha. Landa na weo gine na chai gari mia mai otim konya. Kitukura na no kamacho donjo to kuguk mangeny. Konya gimari mo tim yuayo. You can show from the Bible that chariots are angels and clouds are angels. Inyalo somo ge muma apostle nea ni chariots gin malaike kache borbulu bende malaike So here Christ he was taken up not with a cloud like you see in the sky it's referring to angels that received him out of the sight of the apostles Kurundiko wacho nea ni jal manu rumne samani yesu ipi koi dumalu Now, 
It says he received him out of their sight. Yeah. says every eye shall see him now it says while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up they were looking it says two men they were standing by them these were the angels they said men of Galilee why are you gazing with your eyes into heaven they said this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in the same manner as you have seen him go seen him go into heaven yes you're gonna see you will see you will see Jesus coming. You will hear Jesus coming. Now Jesus said, don't let your mind or your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Did Jesus say, You believe in God, which is me? No, he said, You believe in God, believe also in me. If it were not so, I would have told you. And I go to prepare a place for you. I had a pastor very recently tell ask me the question. Is heaven a real place? My Bible says that there's a mansion, a place prepared for me in heaven. There's going to be a city in heaven that comes down from heaven to the earth. That's a real place. 
tendo kakondiki ndini tiere dala matuku mapro biro kaya polo kata mia kalora there are books in heaven that have our works written on them and those books are just as real as you are living right now etani tiere buge bwana sifiwe sana kondiko wachonia buge go nyindisi ondiki we will recognize each other in heaven and the bible says in revelation 22 we will see the face of god The mighty God. Even the Lord has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun even to the going down of thereof. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. You know what I hear behind the pulpits? I hear preachers say that when Jesus comes, it will be quiet. Antichrist. Antichrist. Because the Bible doesn't teach that. Oh, what about the thief in the night? Oh, we'll get there. A fire will devour before him and it will be very tempestuous round about him. It does not say it will be still and peaceful and quiet. And you will never find in the Bible where people disappear. Every eye will see him. There are some people sleeping. Please have them stand up. Sleep in this kind of uh, chat, which 
that made me to change from this kind of Umabati to a permanent building, this thing is really hot. And we need to change this one as well. What are they are there? Let's continue now. Yes. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven. Not secret. Revealed. No bed gima panda. No bed gima wianga. Revealed. It says, You give me your picture, give me a coro chandaka. Not to come and you get the Gikanaki coja. Kaitan and Wanch. Mukamano. It says, He will be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels. We opro fuenore. Cry polo wood major. Give Oganda Murtum. Man, Malaike. Okay, think about go watch it, yeah, man. Hey, when Jesus Christ was called by the Father to be raised from the dead, one angel moved that stone and knocked those Romans down just by being there. In the Old Testament, one angel stood in front of the ark and knocked over, I think it was 75,000 people. It says, it says the Lord Jesus will be revealed with his mighty angels. In flaming fire taking vengeance. You know what? I've never seen invisible fire. And neither have you. It seems they haven't. I think I'm also a half seaman. Now he, listen, he is going to come revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and those that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is not going to be quiet. It is not going to be invisible. It's going to be glorious. Notice it says right here. He's going to punish with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. If we think that Christ is coming in the glory of his power, but it will be silent, 
then we think his glory is very weak. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not go before. We will not prevent those that are asleep. So, as we talked about before, with, I think it was you, Brother Milanda. If I'm dead and I'm sleeping in Christ, but you are alive and remain, the Bible says, I will first be raised up. And then together with those that are alive and remain, I will be caught up together with the Lord in the clouds. We will not prevent or go before those which have fallen asleep. For the Lord of heaven will descend with a shout. And some of you are thinking, Oh no, preacher, you don't understand. You're talking, we're talking about the rapture, you're talking about the glorious coming. No such thing in the Bible. The Lord is going to come with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. The dead in Christ will rise first, then we which are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the Lord to meet the Comfort one another with these words, not the words that are, it's going to be quiet, nobody's going to know, we're just going to all disappear. Now we'll understand a little bit about the thief in the night. Of the times and seasons, brethren, you have not that I need to write unto you. Now, are we dealing with the manner of Christ's coming or the times and the seasons? Which one is it? There's two different things. The, is it the manner of Christ's coming or is he talking about the times and the seasons? And kaka with 
The times and the seasons. The times and seasons. Okay. I have no need to write unto you, for you yourselves know perfectly that the day, which is a time of the Lord, shall come as what? A thief in the night. Ni awajunu ni kichudu chie marja wa no bi kaka So here, what we're seeing is the times and the seasons you shouldn't be ignorant of. Kuru gi mayu wo e marja lo gi jaguo cha en dalo kod kinde. Emma upondo, we jore. Omerago we maswak makuta mitu waji. For it says, the day, the time, the season of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. Again, when they shall say unto you peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come. Brethren, you are not in darkness that the day, the timing, the season should overtake you as a thief. Okay. darkness about is the timing mm. not the manner you will you gima wakia gima wakia muket wai mudu en sa doge tok kaka obiro biro in this context it's dealing with the thief coming in the night in the timing egini owuyo kaka jaku biro go so we know that a thief coming in the night, that person is quiet. But we're not talking about the manner of the thief in the night. We're talking about the timing. You don't know when they're coming. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. He is long suffering to us, word, and not willing that any should perish. Okay. The Bible says he wants all to come to repentance. What is repentance but turning away from sin, which is breaking the law? Let me explain this for a second and then maybe you can take it. So give me just a little bit. The day of the Lord. It says the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That's the timing, not the manner. Because it says in the which, in that time that he comes, the heavens shall pass away, not with silence, but with a great 
Noise. Niko wachunia. Ni esa mauru dhanyo no no tenyere no. Kak no timre kaka jaku do sano. Mubru wuk no ono bed koku maduo. Kendo nyaka gik momako pinyo mwachunge ni. Pinyo no tagere kanga momen. Buwana si fiwe sana. How many thieves do you know that come in at night are banging pots together? Bang, 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 bang. Eh, penyo, ma penyo, ni ya. Julius Musiep na okongo, ma wode meja ngati polo. Jali nga munge yu keno embita kamolo jitemo miyo nwa jere ya kendo wa. To penyo wane ya, jadi di Julius. Kaka ya keno, maka yu kuo ke. Tuwa bi yu kuo alito. Kiko yo, bang, bang, bang. Julia Sokongo, give me your credit to me, Ikan. What do you call a pen, pen? None of it. No. It can't happen. No, see, listen. The day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens are destroyed with a great noise, and it says the elements will be burned with fervent heat. Niko Ajonia, Uduchi, Maria Sai, Uduchi, Wilinina, Uduchi, Biro Kaka. Jaku, kai to gik mano timre chiyano, ok gin gik madi ma 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 mul ma mos. No bed gima duom, kendo nyaka teko mo makopi. No ay pi no one maraj. Seeing then that all these things will be destroyed or dissolved, the Bible is calling us to live in a manner of persons. That are in holy conversation and godliness. To come, my kaka gigi no chal jolwe. Buana si fiwe sana. Yeso paki. Ne come, my kaka gigi no chal. Kare wan ma podu wan tiri kawuro. Onego abed maler kelo muri tore ma chal nadi. Timbari wa wachi amen. If they say unto you, hey. He's in the desert. Do not go forth. Kagi watu ni nene echo eni e ena kalari desert wadi kuru kiki timano. If they say he's in the secret chambers, nobody knows where he's at. Believe it not. Kagi watu no mea de watu lusi biro ten kamuru mu pola ni mangi kuri yela duwa tiri mangi ni asiri mo kelo fariu mo wadi watu warum gija warwa. Why? Why is this true? Why should we not believe it? This word right here. That word for means because. Because as the lightning shines out of the east and shines even unto the west, in the same manner shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So what Jesus is saying right here is if they're telling you, hey, he's coming and or he's already come and it's secret. Just be quiet. You can know that's not true because every eye will see him. Then shall all, sorry, then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven and the tribes of the earth, all of them, all the tribes shall mourn. Ekano tenyere wudhane koreyamo. Donk, duto, kachil gugendi dipe. Numbore yuak. Nyaka jodala uno yuagi. Kauk kiji. Koro kibro yuak kwa digito manu wachi. How many different tribes are here? In Kenya? Right here. Karka wano bogadi. Luo? Juluo, nika, suba, nika, Jukisi mokane no ka three, ah jolo ya moke chane no kacha four, ah jo, ah ne ni jusi pro mana wu tu gumu agana five different tribes. All the tribes of the earth will mourn. 
To ndiko wach mago ta kwana mana moko matin mani ya yeka. To mama wacho ni ukendi ni. Te! Mani ya ping. Paul katingi ya gewa mojo. Biro yuak. And it says, and they shall see the son of man coming. Kai to ndiko wacho ni kini yuaki. To Bernard. Kini uto te. Kibro neno chal ma biro mo wudu dana no. With power and great glory. Kubiro kodo teko. These are the words of Jesus. Where did Jesus tell you even a single time it will be quiet? He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall hey. gather together the elect. It will be, this is our last verse. It will be said in that day, lo. Are you saying our know, last verse and is when we are starting? Kingman, you are watching your bed. You know, when you are on fire, you yeah. think is when it is starting out. Better. Yes. Uh, All right. It will be said in that day, <laughs> this is our God. Oh, we have waited, waited for him. For. Uh, he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. And we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Isaiah Prayoga Beach. Matindo Chico. Ngeye kate mumama nyen mwayami. Tundiko wachonia. No wachini ma. Tirudu wa manyocha. Amen. Amen. How many of you want to be ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? I want to be ready. And I'm telling you, the best way to be ready is to study your Bible, to know what God is calling us to be like before He comes. Today, right now, I commit myself to study the Bible every single day. Will you do the same thing? Hallelujah. Let us pray. Today, I want to ask brother to pray for those who want to turn to the Lord. Let them come in front so that you may pray with them. Let, just remove the chairs. Why do you don't want to worry to come? Just so that's what I better go. What do I love when you say to her? Tell me, do you have a follow-up page? Muga, do you have a follow-up So that's what I come back. Go, 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 go. Jo mobe, do you have a follow-up page? Do you have a follow-up page? Jo mani, do you have a follow-up page? Wasuda suda ki karkai. Wadu alamu nye sachwa. Wadu alamu wawwa ki ruwa. Wawwa ki nye sachwa. Jomani chien go wasuda suda beleka. Okwa ir ngatu wale emu. Suda suda koni. We mako kong. Jomani chien go suda suda. Wagul kombe go. Just give space so that those who want to come can come. As the man of God is going to pray, just move the chairs. Jo ashas ko jo uru sudo kombe mo no jo man chino sudo mele sudo sudo mele sudo sudo mele ka dira dira kom no ayo te ko gol kombe ko gol gol kombe ko mo no jo uru space because we want to pray we want to pray jo kwa milanda bigini akai sudo sudo ge sudo sudo kombe jo mo mele kombe ka wale mo wa sudo ka jo man chino ko cha jo gibe no biro kanisa di kosa kwa timu jo ka jo ka wa sudo mele wa duwa le mo. Just come in front. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, my God.
Our Father in heaven, I'm so grateful that you've called us to this place. I'm thankful that you've given us the opportunity to study your word. We thank you for the blessings of life and truth and holiness. I pray that you'd bless these dear people, every single one of them. Glorify your name in their lives. Help them to submit themselves to your holy word. Guide them that as they study, they will see with ISAF that they will be able to know what it is that you're saying to them, to their families, to their friends. That they will be converted and transformed and prepared for the coming of your son. We thank you, Lord, for, for this opportunity. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, your people are before you, Lord. Each one of them repenting of the transgressions. Father, we come before you with a humble heart. Forgive us our transgressions, Lord. For we have sinned against you, Father. For you have called us through the voice of your servant, Daniel Mans, whom you have sent in this dispensation of time, so that he may come in front, Lord, that the people may get the message of repentance in this end time, Lord, that we may hold unto the law. That we may not walk in lawlessness. Father, in the name of Jesus, your people are kneeling before you. Father, hear us alone. Forgive us our sins. Father, forgive us. Forgive each and every one of the transgressions. Lord, starting with me, Father, forgive me. My sin, Lord, that I may walk in righteousness, that I may walk in righteousness. Father, for those that have taught wrongly, Lord, I ask for forgiveness from you, Father, that I may teach you righteousness, that I may teach you why, for this message is for me, Father. Thank you. Thank you for giving us another chance, Lord. Thank you for talking to us through your servant. Thank you for talking to us through your servant. You are the man. Thank you, Lord. Be glorified today and forever. This is so good. I'm waiting for to see the Son of God coming. The mighty sound. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yumema, Yumema, Yesu, Yumema.